Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DB, and today I just wanted to do a real quick video on the release of Cura 5.4. So let's get started. So when I open Cura 5.4 for the first time, one of the big changes is they have created new tree support. And if you remember several months ago, they had a bait out there with this Xmas tree support. They've now changed that and integrated based on all the refinements and user testing. That's pretty awesome. It uses less filament and is quicker. And I'll probably go ahead and download. Looks like they have a Thingiverse page with a Dragon Pencil. So I'll probably download that and print it to see how it does. Brims are easier to remove. So that's also exciting because that's one of my problems when I've used brims is I wind up having to scrape the edges to clean it all off. So if it's easier to remove, that would be great. And then there's also PTE profiles that have been added. Now, I don't print with PTE CF, but if I did, I'm sure this would be pretty interesting. Now, looking further at the release notes, looks like there are some other new settings that are added, 10 new ones, and used to uh, change behavior. Again, there's more tree support options. They've killed a bunch of bugs, so that's awesome. And then looking down, some other new feature improvements. They've updated the logo, and you'll notice that when you start the program. So now there's whole horizontal expansion diameter is only leave, uh, only do small holes, leave in bigger holes. Skirt height setting, can make the skirt easier to remove. Improved accuracy when M104 is used. So now there's improved behavior when opening and closing categories when adding a new printer. So these looks like some pretty awesome changes. So if you get a chance, I'd go ahead and give this a shot as soon as possible. This is Mike from Minimal 3. ADP. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please post them below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Feel free to email me as well at minimal3dp at gmail.com. If you like what I'm doing, please feel free to share and give me a like and I look forward to talking to you again in the future. Thanks and happy 3D printing.